Hello and warm welcome to another edition of the FATU Network News Review, 15th of January 2020. My name is Omar Wali. I'll be interviewing Silpo Sonko of Operation 3S Jotna. We'll be discussing uh, their planned protest. The police issued a statement denying the uh, application to hold another procession calling on President Adam Abaro to step aside. And today the Interior Ministry also issued a statement supporting police decision. We will also be talking to Osman Rambo Jata, the deputy party leader of the APRC party. They also intend to hold demonstrations tomorrow to call on the government to honor the agreement they had with the former president before his departure. But before all that, I will start with the papers and uh, the Point newspaper is reporting that Victims Center Chair voices APRC threat. Serif Kijera, the chairman of Gambia Center for Victims of Human Rights Violations, has voiced his concern over threats he received from some members of the former ruling APRC party. Mr. Kijera said he believed that the threats were as a result of his stance for the government not to issue the permit to APRC to protest in demand of Yahya Jame's return. The victim center chairman in a strong terms condemned these threats saying he is not taking things lightly. The APRC members are issuing threats to me and the victim center, Mr. Kijera said. He added that uh, the party is in, in a angry and is urging him to come and stop them from obtaining a police permit if he, Kijera, is a Gambian. He, uh, they have been mentioning my name on a number of times and emphasizing that let them not stop through an audio. Mr. K Mr. Kijera claimed that the former KMC Mayor Yankuba Kole made some threats during his interview on Star FM. He added that similar threats were advanced by Bakari Jaiti, commonly known as Bas Bakso. Both of them are saying uh, he should even try to stop them and that he should be very careful about the APRC. He said, knowing the atrocities that have been committed under the Jame regime, he is therefore not taking the threats lightly. He said, and I quote, so we are not taking it lightly because they are the same APRC that we knew under Yahya Jame. The point is also reporting that the uh, police turned down three years Jotna permit request. Office of the Inspector General of Police um, has decided not to grant a permit to anti-government protesters a three years Jotna, a pressure group that is that plans to protest on the 20th of January 2020. The police said that the denial of the permit to the group was due to the compelling national security and policy sef and police public safety concerns. The pressure group is calling on President Adam Barrow to step down after three years per the coalition agreement and also campaign promises he made to Gambians. The three years Jotna was however granted permit last month, which they merged through the outskirts of Old Joswang to Denton Bridge, where they handed a petition to, to, Mr. Barrow, to Mr. Barrow asking him to honor the campaign promises. The petition was handed to President through the government spokesperson Mr. Ibrahim G. Sankari demanding the president step down by 19th of January 2020, exactly three years after he took out of office. The point, uh, that's all we have for you on the point. And uh, Foraya newspaper is reporting that Musha Sheriff of the Voice newspaper apologizes to PDOIS UDP for false publication. In reference to one of the stories published on the Voice front page issued on Monday, 13th of January 2020, titled Double Attacks PDY's Leadership describes leaders as phony politicians should be should be double attack political parties. Describe describe leaders as phony politicians. The error is highly regrettable or regretted and management by and the management of the voice is deeply sorry for any inconvenience that it may have caused especially to PDOIS and the UDP as it was not intentional. The Foraya is also reporting that police denied three years Jotna permit, and uh, they're also uh, reporting that APRC party yet to receive a permit. The spokesperson for Alliance for Patriotic Reorientation and Construction, Mr. Duduja, the deputy spokesperson of the party, ha on Tuesday told Foraya newspaper that the police are still processing their application to hold procession on Thursday, 
16th of January 2020. Mr. Jasia departing they sent to, the, to make a follow-up from the Office of the Inspector General of Police said the authorities told him that they are processing their application and any time they are done they will get back to them. The APRT spokesperson, deputy spokesperson said they are still waiting for the police to call them as promised when the permit has been processed. Mr. Jass said there is nothing that will warrant the APRC to be denied permit because what they will be embarking on is just a peaceful solidarity march pass to remind, to rem, to remind stakeholders including the United Nations ECOWAS, African Union, and the Gambia government of the joint communique they signed in 2017 by Afro-Said International Organizations and the former Gambian president, Yahya Jame, for him to leave the Gambia, so, Gambian soil and, bri, and bring, to leave the Gambian soil and to bring an end to a political impasse. That's all we have for you um, on the papers. We will take a short break. When we come back, I will have an interview with the representative from Three Years Jotna. For the first time in the Gambia, your favorite GSM operator, Afrosol, is the first and only GSM operator to launch a brand new technology called the eSIM. The eSIM simply means you can use your phone without a SIM card. Do you have an iPhone 11, any of the iPhone X series, a Google Pixel 3, or any new phone that supports the e-technology? Visit any Afrosol customer care center. Activate your eSIM today. With your virtual Afrosol SIM, you can use more than one number without having a physical SIM card in your phone. Enjoy this brand new technology for the first time in the Gambia, brought to you by Afrosol. eSIM, your phone without a SIM card. For more information, please call 111. Where Afrosol goes, oh, oh, nobody dares to follow. Dares to follow. For the first time... Welcome back uh, after the short commercial break and... On the line now, I have Osman Rambojata, the deputy party leader of the APRC. As we mentioned in our headlines here, APRC intend to hold protests to demand the government to honor the agreement they had before former President Jamez' departure. Rambo, welcome to the FATO Network. Yeah, thank you, Omar. As, as we speak, did the police issue a permit or you still did not receive a permit? Uh, we are waiting a call or somebody to bring the permit to us at where we are right now. So we are assuming that we've been granted the permit since we have no written document that is saying that we've been denied the permit. Okay, but uh, it's past five o'clock in the Gambia and we all know that uh, most of the offices are closed now. So in the event that uh, the, you did not receive a permit, what next for APRC? Uh, this is a special treatment for a special group of people. So we believe that uh, the offices are still open to our service. Okay. Let's let, uh, hypothetically, if the police deny you permit, will you go ahead with the protest or procession? Oh yes. Oh yes. In this protest for tomorrow, there is no turning back. The day is set. The time is set, and the ball is going to start rolling first thing tomorrow morning. Okay. Tell us the time and the venue, and in what way and form. The is time. That? The assembling time is seven o'clock. Okay. Seven. And seven. Uh, we. Yes, we plan to spend only three hours outside there. Okay. After which we will disperse and go home peacefully. And the venue, the meeting uh, assembly point is at the Sukuta Jambanjeli traffic light Johnson on the main highway. So you will start from Sukuta Jambanjeli to where? Yeah, to the AU. To the African Union. But if the, if the need be, we don't even need to move an inch. We just want to assemble our people, read out our statement. And then we take the letters to the various authorities concerned. Do you bear the consequences of holding a procession or protest without a permit? Uh, do you mean after exhausting all diplomatic and due process? Yes, uh, I mean if. Uh, yeah, but, but because so far, how can you tell? How can you tell whether we've been denied a permit or not? No, no, no. I am saying, in the event that this thing happened, you said you will go ahead. Do you bear any consequences? Do you put in mind what will happen in the event that the police did not issue a permit and you, you know, you go ahead with the with the protest? Omar, we are a politician, and in African politics, you have to how to call it. Uh, you have to expect all kind of risk. You have to you have to expect all kind of consequences. But on this one, it should be fair play because we don't see any reason why we should be denied a permit. 
after um, the five years for Obaro were granted permits, the three years just now who intend intended to burn the country upside down were granted a permit. You know, the, the same scenario that happened to GDC in Jamara, you remember? Right. And it was in the 11th hour that they were, they were granted a permit. So why the APRC? Why? So how many people are you expecting? From, for yeah, we we expecting around 120, 150,000 people. Where are these people coming from? They are coming from all over the Gambia. We are they are all Gambians. We don't we don't export and we don't inflate crowds. So they are genuine Gambians with valid voter cards. Okay, genuine Gambians with valid voter cards. So now, yes. What next after the procession? What after reading your statement to the authorities? and uh, you hand over the petition, whatever you call it. What next for APRC? What will you do next? No, we just this person go home, go and eat our benachin, and then go home. So that will be the whole story. So you will not do a that will, That's it. We are not going to disturb the peace. We are not going to jam the traffic. We only want our voice heard, period. Okay. That's you, all. You want your voice heard. You want the authorities to hear your voice, but uh, calling... Not the authorities. This has nothing to do with the government. But it is the government of the government. There are institutions, we... there are institutions that were negotiating during the impasse for President Jammeh to peacefully exit power. And they were talking on behalf of the then coalition. That is EU, UN, and ECOWAS. So there was a declaration that was that that, 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 was, that was draft. That was that was, that was signed. The declaration was signed by international peace brokers, African Union, and, ECOWAS, and, yeah, and who, for whom we are we are they brokering the peace for? Former President Jami and the government, the, the pre president elect at the time. Exactly, and the president elect is still the president. Yes, it's, it's now the president of, exactly. of, of the Gambia. Exactly. So, put quite simply, your protest is directed towards international peace brokers that convinced or persuaded Jami to leave this country. Yes, absolutely. It's not intended for any Gambian. It's not intended to harm. Or, the, or obstruct any Gambian. We are very peaceful. We, I think the whole Gambia can be our, be our witness. And I believe also that uh, this is the first time we request for a permit to go and, and do what we're supposed to do tomorrow. Are you, not doing so, are you not doing contrary to what the former president told you during a conversation, telephone conversation? He said you should talk to the authorities. And I think if there is a better person who should listen to you, should be the government of Adam Abaro, not the AU ECOWAS or the United because they might not be able to effect any change. If the IGP and the police want to take that as an advantage, then they are mistaken. Is it not, don't you think another means or form will be to engage government dialogue instead of protest or procession? I believe we have definitely exhausted all diplomatic means with the, with the police. So now it is to go to the streets now. That now is it. it's a go. Now it's a go. And we're not going for violence. We're going for peace and for our voices to be heard, period. What will be your message to those who will be out on the streets? As usual, below abiding. We stay according, uh, we, 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 we stay in within the confines of the law. You know, Omar, I just, I, I just believe you just want to hear it again. But you know, we always advise our militants right. to be law abiding, to be respectful whatever and for destruction count that one out okay. that is not APRC ja, uh, uh, okay just to die just a little from the conversation you have with the former president um, yes. you know is that not a contrary from the former president he said he is on leave but now you people are calling on him to come back and what is is it on he is he on leave or he's on he's in exile uh, Omar, I believe you call me to grant you an interview yes, in regards to the protest, so I don't think I will go uh, beyond that. So you are not going to comment on that issue, whether he is on exile? Mm, no, because we, we have all had the audio together, and I believe everybody understood the message very well. But the reason why uh, all these things happening is, is the same story or the same storyline calling on him to return, but for the authorities to respect his, uh, to, 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 for the authorities to respect the agreement they had before Jammeh's yes. departure. Mm -hmm. So, is it not, I'm just saying, is, is the same story, um, the government, or Jammeh wants to come back, API, his supporters want him to come back, is the same because they want the authorities to honor the agreement they had before Jammeh's departure. So, if yes. it, so you, 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 you mean you're not going to comment on what you 
Uh, I don't want to comment on anything from that audience. All right. Thank I you. I think we all had it. We all had it together, and I believe we all understood the content of that aud those audios. But um, Jami will come back sooner than later. Jami will not come back, but Jami must come back. Jami must come back. Yes. And how That's soon? the message. Enough is enough. Thank you so much, Mr. Jada. You must welcome. That's uh, Osman Rambo Jata there, the spokesperson, the deputy party leader of the APRC party. They also will stage a protest tomorrow to demand the authorities to honor the agreement, the international peace brokers, the ag agreement they had with the former president, the ECOWAS African Union, and the United Nations. Now, the National Youth Conference and a festive and a festival on Wednesday inaugurated its national organizing committee for this year's NECOF. This year's event will be hosted by Banjul, and an MOU has been officially signed between the National Youth Council and the Banjul City Council. Jaka Sisejeta reports. The National Youth Conference and Festival inaugurates its national organizing committee for this year's NECOF and officially signed a MOU with the Banjul City Council. The ceremony took place today, 15th January, at the Independent Stadium in Bacau. NACONF, which is a biannual event and the biggest youth convergence in the country that brings together the nation's youth to discuss issues affecting their lives as well as their role in national development. With a budget of $7 million, the activity aims to bring together over 2,000 youths from all over the country and other parts of the world. The one-week event, which will take place from the 15th to 28th of April 2020, is geared to promoting youth empowerment, showcase the talents of young people, among others. I am pleased to say some key objectives and plan activities for this year's mega convergence. One, create a platform for youth voice, active participation, and positive socialization among young people to discuss issues affecting them and map out common roadmaps and actionable programs to attaining the Gambia we want. The showcase of talents of young people in various academic, sporting, cultural events to serve as a springboard to career pathways in the discipline of their choices while addressing key concerns of youth employment, youth unemployment. Create the necessary awareness on the dangers of youth migration, FGMC, child marriage, and opportunities available for young people in the country to over 2,000 young people attending the event. The deputy mayor of Banjul revealed that the council is highly anticipating the hosting of this year's NACOM. We are already prepared as a region to host this important festival because we, all, we always ready for this and you know all the time when you are comparing the regions with when we are doing your assessment, Banjul is always first. Minister of Youth and Sport gave an assurance that his ministry and the government are going to continue to support activities of youths, which the NACOMF is not an exception to. I can assure the, NACOM, the National Organizing Committee and the entire young people of the usual blessing and support of the government. The government will provide moral, financial, and technical support. This event is for the young people by the young people. As usual, we shall be by your side to guide, to encourage, and support, and to participate in NECO 2020. For the Fatu Network News Review, I am Jack Sisijete.
Welcome back. Uh, after that short commercial break, I am Omar Wali and I'm here with uh, Mr. Shirifo Sonko. He is an executive member of Operation 3 Years Jotuna. As you may know, the Preso Group was denied permit by the Gambia Police Force. And I'm here to discuss that issue with um, Mr. Sonko. Mr. Sonko, um, thank you so much for honoring our invitation. Um, as you know, the Gambia Police Force has uh, decided not to issue their permit. What do you what is your reaction to this? Um, thank you very much, Omar, for inviting us here today um, to discuss about um, our permit issue. Um, and then if you are, the, what you actually asked me about the, um, the permit issue is this. We wrote uh, an application to the police for them to grant us permit. Um, yesterday, we had a call from them that they have rejected us the permit. So the moment we had this, uh, we try to call on our executive because um, three years old now is a group. We cannot. We just don't. We don't just jump up and take decisions. So what we did, the, um, the moment they give us a call, what we did is we uh, we converge at our uh, our chairman's um, house where we have an executive meeting. So from there, we were on our way um, going to um, the police uh, headquarters for us to go and receive the the rejection. Um, uh, when on, on the way. By the way, um, we have a call from uh, from the people from ECOWAS and the UN um, to have a meeting with them concerning about the old thing. So we have a fruitful meeting with um, ECOWAS and UN um, yesterday, and then we we are still waiting on uh, whatever information they will um, give us at the end. Okay, but as it, as as of now, as we speak, um, you don't have a permit. Yeah, as of now, we don't have a permit. And uh, what next? Are you going to, you know, embark on a procession as you did last time? Yeah. Because last time you were issued, but this time you do not have a permit. Are you going ahead with the procession or you changing your mind? Yeah, yeah. Um, as of now, um, what we decided as an executive body, uh, we decided to go in for the protest. You understand? We will go uh, because we know uh, that the law, the law of the land allow us to protest. Because we know that um, the law of this country said that citizens can um, can go in for protest anytime. They uh, can go. Uh, the law of this land, we all believe that there is freedom of movement. As far as there is freedom of movement, freedom of uh, expression is our right to protest, even without permit. Um, Omar, one thing I just want people to understand is this: we are just uh, we just want to um, respect the law of the land. This is why uh, we are applying for the permit all the time. Um, but we all know in other parts of the world, um, people normally do protest without, without even applying for a permit. So why we always apply for a permit is this. We want uh, peace to stay in our country because we know that um, um, the police are still using the same tactic. You understand? One could say um, this government is using the same tactic the way the, um, the ex-government did. Um, to deny citizens from their right, to silence the old issue. They, um, their main, the main purpose or the main uh, intention for this government is the same, like the government of Jambi. Everybody has to attest to that because uh, we all know this Public Order Act you know, has been here and we all know um, the damages this Public Order Act has done to our people here. And the President himself knows that it's because of this Public Order Act he becomes the President of this country. He has to really understand it. So we believe if actually he want to be here, he want to be the President for the Gambia, I think um, some of these acts or some of these laws has to, they, they should not work you know, with some of these laws. Um, a government, we, are, um, we keep saying that, um, um, a government, um, we keep saying that they are making a new law. They said the 1997 constitution is not, uh, is not good and they are spending millions of money. To, to, to draft a new constitution. We don't expect that government to use the, the same constitution as and try to 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 um, um to perpetuate themselves into power. But we all seen that this is the real side. Uh, you know, um, today people are saying all sorts of things um, against Opposition Three Years Journal. Um, but uh, what what's gonna be happen? What's gonna happen here is this. Um, today is Opposition Three Years Journal. Tomorrow it might be someone else. You understand? Because it is everything starts. Who are who who is someone else? You said no. It, it, I'm, I'm telling you know right now some people are against our mission some people are against our mission because they are into this they are um some people are having this intention that this president has to um enrich himself into power you understand and we we know that in africa the moment you give um you overpowered uh, i mean a president uh, all, all what they do is you know how to stay more in power 
this is um, whoever is saying that the president has to go for five years every one of us we all know that that and um, the president is elected to power for him to serve for five years we all know that and we all know the constitution of the land says this but what we are trying to say to the people is this um here is a president who said that you understand i am a president who want to come and give you guys new law and give you guys better law and, and give you guys modern law of the, uh, of the world this is the president who says that and then this is the president who is now spending millions to draft a new constitution now this is the same government or the, the same government who is still on who is still practicing those bad laws to his people so what is what science are they showing to the world world now you said you are democrat you understand being democrat why should you deny your people from from their uh, I mean, from freedom of movement no. and, and then again this is the government who is fighting for the right of a foreign nation which uh, for, for the human right yes when you say foreign nation which no I, i'm sorry Rohingyas. Or Rohingya Muslims. yes sir, because, because they, uh, you are you are fighting for those people they are right and now you are denying your own people from their right now uh, they've denied the permit. Imagine the police issued you permit. Yes. And uh, is it not going to be the same old story? Will you go and protest? And they either give you the same where crocodiles and oysters and birds and other things will hear. Yes, Omar. Um, uh, what, what, what is more important here is for them to give us the permit. We want them to give us the permit. And, if, and when we were applying for the permit, we give them jurisdiction. We said we are going to do a procession from, uh, from Sydney Corner to Denton Bridge. So it's all right when we, you know, it, look, we can just go out without even permit. This permit issue is, is, is this permit issue is, is not, is not, is not correct. You understand? And we say to them clearly that give us permit. We are going to start our procession from ten o'clock to six to, to six o'clock. So even at least if they even call us, we can still try to bring it down like like last time. But now, what can they tell us? They say okay, uh, because of peace. But we all know in this country, in the history of the Gambia, there has never been a time the police issue a permit to a protesters and it, 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 it turned into violence. In the history of the Gambia, it has never happened. The only time protests turn into violence in this country is when the police are there to deny people their right of movement, their right of assembly. The moment you want to deny, but look, one thing I just want people to understand, never again slogan will stay. Believe in me, it's not just going to be by what? And for this slogan to stay is this, Gambians has to take responsibility to make sure that, you understand, this government, is to make sure that they hold this government accountable, they, to make sure that our phone, our money will not go on like that, to make sure that all this transition going on will go in the right path. But we all know that this transition, this transition is, will never, will not benefit the Gambian people. It's only going to be a waste of money. Omar, we all know this. Because look, one thing I just want to tell you now, we all seen the Janet Commission. The Janet Commission, it was just waste of money. It was just waste of money, and they said white paper. It is. It was not white paper, but black paper. And we are all seeing the TRRC, what's going on there again. Now, um, the... Because the problem there is, Omar, this government, they are, their intention is not reform. This government, their intention is how to stay in power. Their intention is not, not about reform. The Interior Ministry today issued a statement. Um, I'm not sure if you are privy to it, but uh, for the interest of our viewers, okay. the uh, statement was signed by Honorable Yankuba J. N. Sonko, is the Interior Minister. And uh, the statement reads Following the decision of the Inspector General of Police to withhold the issuance of peaceful protest permit to Operation 3S Jotna, the Minister of Interior, as parent ministry, hereby affirmed the IGP's position accordingly and this is based on zero security complex against public order and safety concerns as this is vested in the ministry's responsibility for re the maintenance of law order to ensure internal security we urge both the leadership and the entire membership membership of operation 3s jotna to fulfill to fully comply with the igp's decision as it stands to pursue its constitutional mandate to maintain peace and prevent violence and in extension to protect public lives and property in fulfillment of its obligation to create to citizens constitutional right to, to assemble an association, association. The Gambia government through the office of IGP has so, accom has so accommodating in allowing both trees Jotna and Gambia for five years to peacefully protest before a, uh, the, the Globe television, before the 
global television stations and uh, the interior ministry is saying therefore the violation of the position of IGP by any person or person shall be deemed as a fragment violations of both constitution and public order act and a direct affront to the peace security public safety as well as economic well-being of the Gambia and its people. They're saying that uh, you people should uh, hold on to your procession, if, as you call it. Are you going to take that uh, advice from the interior minister that you, you should not go ahead with this? Well, um, what I just want you to understand here is this. Um, you know, uh, I'm very sad um, that um, the, the same system is still here. You know, um, yesterday, um, this press conference, um, this, uh, the, the press release uh, with the police gave, you know, um, I saw it with the Minister of Defense. They were the one who published it, you understand. Um, and we all know the role of a Minister of Defense, you understand. So you can see now um, soldiers, um, um, the Minister of Defense want to involve soldiers into our internal matter. And we all know what is the main role of soldiers, this you understand. And this is serious. Okay. Um, Again, now today is the Minister of uh, Interior who, say, who, who have just uh, bring this. But you know what? Um, the IGP, when it was uh, denying us the permit, um, the section he used is section 178. That was the section the IGP used. Um, that section is talking about the existence of the Gambia Police Force. You understand their duty or whatever. That, um, that was what the section was saying. Um, but we all know um, the duty of Gambian Police Force. We all know this. You understand. Um, the IGP doesn't mention any section from the uh, from the Public Order Act. Yes, the people has to be very careful. Do you know um, these people? They think um, they are smart when they are not smart. Um, the IG, why the IGP uh, um, have not mentioned any section from the Public Order Act? Because they, these are people who are baking all, every day, and they are baking the, uh, um, 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 the, the, the West for them to help them. And they still want, they know that the Public Order Act is not, uh, um, 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 is, not valid, is not valid no more. They know that very well. Because if you see um, why I say the Public Order Act is not valid no more, we all seen that here. Um, our people uh, who have done the protests here at Kairaba, <laughs> at the end of it, what happened? They have thrown, they have thrown the paper. And again, our people who, ha, who went to Garasoma for a um, for, um, round without no using PA system, they, they, I mean, um, they arrested them, but what happened at the end? Everything go like this. So many, 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 many of those things, they know that this public order act is just how to treat people, you understand? But it's no more existing, you understand? And we all know the same public order act, his um, uh, validity that is not no more valid. That is why, this is why uh, Usainu Dabo and the co has to set free because, you know, it's a law which is know that a worldwide know that it's not, it's not actually valid. So um, what I just want to say here, but you see um, the IGP have not mentioned it. The IGP have not mentioned it in his, uh, um, in his rejection of permit, you understand? But the, the, the Minister of Interior has to mention a public order act again, you understand? But, you know, the most important thing here is this. Um, the Minister of Interior is not responsible for issuance of permit. They are only advising. You know, you, this they, is what they, you have to They are only advising. But they, we are they, saying that... They're saying... Yes. They, they, uh, the police is on the Minister of Interior. Yes. And uh, the stage reasons here uh -huh. that are looking at the environment, mm -hmm. the well-being, the peace. But but, the but 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 let me tell you something. You know that um, you know that um, in re in real democratic state, in real democratic state, um, the minister of Inform uh, uh, interior has no right on the IGP. The power of IGP is special because the minister minister of interior is is political appointee. We have no no. You, you let let us understand this thing. The power the power of IGP. Is completely different from the power of minister of minister of interior. Interior policy. because it's, no no no. It, it, it's the is the uh, is the IGP who design this thing, and the uh, I mean, the law we give rise to the IGP to uh, I mean to design. We all believe in this. You understand? But what I just want to say here is this: they are talking about uh, what they said is this. They said um uh, I mean uh, because of peace. But what I just want to tell them is this: in the history of the Gambia, let them go back. Let them, let them go back. If you see any problem that day on the 19th, because we are coming out on the 19th, we will go out on the 19th. What is more important here is this. We will advise all our followers. Whoever is following us, we want everybody to be peaceful, like we did. And we, and we believe that our people are peaceful. If we are peaceful, we don't destroy anything. No law on this land. No power they have to arrest us. 
because we have right. The, the law says that you know there is freedom of movement, freedom of expression, and this freedom of expression is is a modern democratic right. And you know even 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 at UN. But this is a law that will give you something on the right hand yes. and take it on the left hand. Yeah, 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 yeah. The reason why yeah. they said you can protest, yes. but the reason why you cannot go without all this without a permit, mm -hmm. because there are some people who might join and they might do something contrary no, uh, to what you people are yeah, doing. Yeah, but no, 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 no. Uh, Omar, 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 you, you know, our situation is completely different. Our okay. situation is okay. completely different. Okay. Because, okay. look, Let's, opposing three years just now are law-abiding citizens. A law abiding citizen. Nobody and we have never broke the law of this land. We have never break the law of this land. This is this is in history. It is in the history of world war that we are the people, we are the civil society in the world world since we have I mean from the independent up to now. It's opposing three years Jotna who have done one of the best protests, one of the most peaceful protests in the history of the Gambia that will stay in the book of the Gambia. In that you know, we are the only people who have shown the world, world how peaceful we are, how we love our country, and that love we still remain in us. And when we are going out, the love we have for our country on the 16th of December, what well, I am telling you, the same love we have for our country on the 19th of December. We are, we will go out, nobody will stop us. You know why? Um, you, you can understand the kind of intimidation, the kind of fear. You know, this fear mongery was uh, was being practiced by the, 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 um, some of these, uh, I don't want to tell names of some um, groups here, because today I want to do, uh, whatever I'm going to say, I want to, I want to do it professionally. Um, this fear mongery has been doing by some other people. People, uh, but what do you need to understand here? Do you know why? Yesterday, after denial was after denial was department. Do you know what they did? Mm -hmm. the, 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 the 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 tanker, the, the the hot tanker was the one they were driving. I um, mean, wasting fuel, driving all over Congo just to put fear into the minds of people. So you can see how how this government is ready to to, to put fear in the people. And I am telling you, if people don't come out on the 19th of December, I am telling you, Alabama will be the worst. Arambo will be the worst, I swear to God. Here is a president who does not ha yet have the power of the police. Because I am telling you, this is something everybody knows it. I can tell you that 70% of the police are not with him. I am telling you, 70 police of the armies are not with him. I'm not saying they are not with him based on the right, based on the law. They are not with they will not be with him come 19th of December. 19th of January. Do you do you have a personal problem or personal issues with the president? Because I understand you are close to him. Before. I don't. I swear to God, Omar, I don't have any personal issue with the president. But this was I, no, 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 Omar. You know, I always say this to people because um, I understand Ahmed Jude. Um, I don't know whether it was yesterday he was here and then he was trying to say a lot. You understand? Um, but um, one thing I believe in life is this: um, um, what the president told me um, and in 2016, um, and he keep saying this. He say. Um, that is life of the presidency, and life of the presidency is very sweet, you understand? And here is the president, I want um, his life of the presidency to be good. I want his life of the presidency, um, the relation between him and people to stay. I want his life of the presidency, I want him to stay in this country. I don't want, here is the president, I love a lot, because let me tell you something, President Boro love me. I, um, I will not deny this, but do this is yeah, do he love you, me. Do you I will, I will, yes, do you, do you I, I love him. Okay. I love him, and 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 I. But let me tell you something. Right. Um, you um, if you love somebody, you have to love him with truth, with right. But because if if I'm a Muslim and I understand and and and, and my in my religions, my Quran, the Quran said, um, I mean, promise, promise is very heavy. I want a leader. A president who I want his life here in this world to be good, and I want his life in the hereafter also to be good. I say law abiding citizen, yes, as a peaceful Gambian, yeah. somebody who wants to make sure there is democracy in this country. Yeah, if they give you a constitution that governs a country mm -hmm. and an agreement, which one will you settle for? Um, I, I mean, Omar, I mean, I just, just, just a simple answer. I, no, I, it can never be a simple answer, okay. as you may say. Which one will you, uh, as you may say? Which one will you settle down for? Uh, no, I am, um, um, it depends. But, no, no, Omar, you know, Omar, you know, you, you know, Omar, you have to understand. Here is agreement. This is one, no, 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 no. I understand. Oh, Omar, Let me you have to understand. Here is agreement which is driving you, which is driving you for one of the best democratic government, this agreement. This the highest agreement which is trying to free this country from all kind of for all kind of self published and rule. This is the agreement. And they, you know, look, let me tell you something. There are a couple of agreements. Look, let me Omar, I always say to people, um, this government is not ready. 
Omar, um, when they always talk about law, constitution, we respect the law of the land. We respect the constitution of this country. This is what they keep saying. And what, this is what the operator five years was saying. But Omar, I want you to understand one thing. This is the government who has brought a, a, a bill in front of the National Assembly for them, for, for, I mean, for them to implement vehicle policy. And the National Assembly members vote for this vehicle policy. And they have not implemented that's the law. The law, the law, yes. the same law you're talking about. Yes, that's the law. The law that gives you, yes. that gave you the right to yes. protest yes. without a permit, whatever yes. you call it, yeah. is the same law that gave the president the right to stay in power for five years. I, Omar, I just, you know, you are trying to cough it. Don't, please, don't cough this today. I'm, okay. I am saying now, I'm asking you now. Okay. Now, okay, now, you are saying we have to respect the law of I'm the not land. No, 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 Omar, you have to understand the one thing here. You said we have to respect the law of the land. That's what you say. I am saying this. I am saying this. Here is the president. Here is the president who believes in the law of the land. And now we know that the law, the law of the land is already, um, I mean, I mean, I mean, um, made, uh, uh, it's made by the parliamentarians, you understand, when it has not gone to the referendum, whatever, you understand. I am telling you, those people who are making the law, has made the law that there should be implementation of legal policy. Yes. This, that's what they say. You're talking about, uh, I, you know, we will be on a one subject and you bring something like vehicle policy. No, 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 okay. no, 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 and, uh, and and you are t you want to uh, 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 let me, I mean, let me, let me you, tell you want to put an agreement and the, the law saying, of the land. That's what you want to. I'm I'm telling you, if you are to take one, which one? You, which one supersede? Because this the it is constitution that governs the country. Mm -hmm. So if you want to take that above an agreement, or you want to take agreement above the constitution, it depends. It depends. I I'm 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 a, now, uh, you, I'm, you, okay, I, can, I, I I will give you. Let me tell you. Can you elucidate me? I you are, okay, okay, one thing you have to understand. You will not put words in my mouth. I and I, 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 I just no no no. Words Omar, in your mouth. No Omar, <laughs> Omar, you have Fine. no Omar. You have to give me time. All right. You have to give me time. Uh, okay. Uh, you ask you, me a question are, here. Yeah, feel free. Uh, no no. You ask me a question here, okay. and I'm trying to answer this question as best I as I can. I patiently listen. I as best as I can. And what you said is this. You said. There is an argument mm -hmm. and there is a law. Mm -hmm. If they if they give me an argument and a law, mm -hmm. what mm -hmm. I will take or, uh, and a constitution, what are uh, what, what am I going to take as a as a democrat? That's yeah. what you say. Then I think that's a question. Yeah, uh, you, you, you can paraphrase anyhow you want. Yeah. Yes, continue. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, I am telling you, um, I um, it depends. Okay. Yeah, um, it depends. Um, here is a government who came to power through an agreement. And, and if I said it comes to power through an argument, everybody has to understand that's true. Because why? Omar, um, if President Barrow, the time when he was doing uh, 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 at the convention, I was at the convention, and all of them, they stood at the convention, what they said is this. If you voted for me, if you voted for me, I will make sure all those bad laws, I will take it out of the constitution. That's what they say. And that's the, that process is going on. We applaud them for that. But now, changing those bad laws, whether are you going to, and you are not ready to implement them. Because we all have to understand one thing here. This agreement is the agreement which says the president has to resign from his party. Nobody has the right to force anybody to, to resign from his party. But it was, they told him that you have to resign from your party. And we, he agreed to resign from his party. Because he knows that if he doesn't resign from his party, he is, I, I mean, there, will not be, there, there is not going to be any coalition. From there, we went and, and the same argument was does not stop there again. The same argument went to the IEC as their manifesto, because if the, that, the manifesto they took to IEC, if they put, if they put six years in, at the, uh, uh, if they put six years there, the IGP, uh, I mean the uh, IC, uh, um, IEC is going to reject it. We all know this. So it's like they are the one who agree with this and this agreement. If it is not legal, you know, you know, there is a legal agreement and an and, 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 and illegal agreement. This is a legal agreement because they, why I say it's a legal agreement, it's an agreement they did it according in the content of law. Because they know, in the content of law, they know that, you know, I mean, I mean, I mean you can resign. But what people have to understand here, and, and, and my comrades, you know, the people who petitioned the government, they said, you know, if the president has to resign, they are going to protest now. Look at this caution now. You have to understand the critical. You know. You know. Look, world has to move with knowledge, tactic. 
Why I said no tactic is they only quote section 65 of the constitution that says that the president has to stay for five years. But no. Omar, I want you to understand one thing, Omar. Omar, the president has said it clearly. Okay. He said it in Birkama that he's going to stay for five years. And he said in New York that he's going to stay for five years. You had that and you still protest. You had that and you still protest. And you are now threatening the president, telling the president that if if you resign, we are going coming out against you and you know that the same law you say you are protecting that law says that the same law said that the president can resign anytime he wants to but now that law you you, you didn't even mention section 62 of the constitution in their position let me help you here there are leaders who respect the constitution yes and there are leaders who do not respect constitution yes if you live in East Africa, yes. in Tanzania, since 60s up to date, yeah. there has been a peaceful transfer of power mm -hmm. from one president Mashallah. to another. Mashallah. Um, it started with uh, Nyerere. He served his term. He gave it Ali Hassan Moyini. He, he completed his term. He gave it to Benjamin Kappa. Thank you, Omar. He, he so, 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 no, 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 no. Let me finish. Thank you, Omar. Thank, thank you, Omar. No, no. You are helping me. I'm helping you. Okay, let me finish. <laughs> so, <laughs> you are so, helping me. Benjamin Kappa <laughs> finished. He gave it to Jekaya Kikwete. Yes. From there, we have Ponga Mogafuli. You go to Botswana, Festus Muhai, Seresin Khama, and we have a new president now. Yeah. These are people who respect uh, what the, con the, con uh, the Constitution put for. Uh, that you must serve not more than 10 years. Yes. There is a president mm -hmm. in Chile mm -hmm. in the 70s, yes. General Augusto Pinochet staged a coup mm -hmm. uh, against uh, the former president, Salvador Olande. Mm -hmm. The president said mm -hmm. he is not going to leave the state house mm -hmm. because it is the people of Chile who voted for him. Mm -hmm. He's going to respect those, uh, that constitution and he stayed in office, he stayed in that state house until he was killed by uh, Augusto Pinochet. Mm -hmm. So what I'm saying, don't you know that there are but oh, like the, this saying that all politicians are the same. They promise to build bridges even where there is no river. They might say one thing today and tomorrow they might say something different. It depends which kind of bridge do you, you, they built. You know, you, know, you know, bridges are different. You know, you have the Chinese bridge. I mean, you, you have the French bridge. You know, I mean, but what I just want to, um, um, like you have just said, why I said Omar, you helped me a lot, Omar. Um, why I said Omar, you helped me a lot is this. Um, Omar, um, uh, you said that there has been transferring power peacefully uh, from a democratic government to another democratic government. Omar, this is what we are praying for. This is what we are looking for. This is what we are fighting for. And here is the, the, here is the president who promised us, who gave us hope that this is going to be. He who said that I am going to, who said that, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, you will be happy. Listen to me. He said that I will be happy um, uh, uh, um, when, you know, uh, this was the press release. I remember um, after the uh, uh, when Jambe said he is not going to step down. Mm -hmm. This was the press release of President Adam Baru uh, in, in his compound. He said that they are, by the time they were appealing to Jambe for Jambe to let Jambe understand that um, 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 it was it, this is the will of the government people. You understand, and it was going to be good uh, that um, Sanaura Karabajo will be there. He Adam Baru is also going to be there. You understand, you know, and, and then you know, yeah, Jambe will transfer power to Adam Baru peacefully and we can, inshallah he will also be yearning, he will also be prayed that he, and, um, at the end of the three years he will also hand over the power to to, to uh, I mean to the person whoever is elected because um, he promised at that time that uh, he is going to uh, I mean is only going to stay for uh, I mean for uh, for only three years you understand this is the president who said that and now um, this is the president who now Forget about all these things now. No. And you know, Omar, um, one thing, um, you know, the, the truth is never, the truth can never be hide. Um, you know, in their protest, they said, um, some people were saying, 30 years, 25 years, 15 years, you know, so, so now, here's the, you know, I mean, you know, I will tell you one thing, Omar. Um, President Barrow is not the problem. You can Omar, 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 Omar uh, President Barrow is not the problem. Is I it? can tell you, is President Barrow is, is, is the followers. I will tell you, even Jambi is not the problem at the time. It was the followers. Now, coming back home, yeah. um, you said with or without a permit, you will protest. You can quench your test. Um, where and when will you do this protest? And in what way and form? Um, Omar, um, you know, with a person three years now, whatever we will do. You, st you still need more water? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, you so, can okay. All right. Thank you. Um, Omar, um, with a person three years now, whatever we are going to do. Right. Um, uh, we always um, tell people we we know um, this is not a group who have an hidden agenda. Mm -hmm. You know, um, you and I think everyone knows this. We said that we are coming out and we are going to do our protest from the Denton Bridge. Yeah. Uh, so from Sitting Corner to Denton Bridge. You right. understand? 
Um, that is that, that was the permit we applied to the, uh, the, uh, to the Inspector General of Police, and we expect to start it from ten to six o'clock. Um, and if they say ten, that, ten, that's ten, what um, that okay. ten o'clock, ten 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 a.m. ten a.m. Mm -hmm. to six p.m. to six p.m. That okay. was what we said. From, from yeah, from no, I, I, I mean the new one. I just want to the new one. Okay, from from the same venue. From, from the, yeah, yeah, we, from, we, we, we are going to do it. We, we are going to do it at the same venue. From the same corner to Denton Bridge. Yes. Okay. Yeah, and 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 we are um, calling on the IGP again. I we are calling on the IGP again, 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 yeah. and again. That please grant us permit, because if we don't grant us permit, permit we are coming out. Come nineteenth. Okay. Of January, we are coming out. But what is more important in this is this: right. we will come out peacefully. <laughs> we will come out peacefully. You know, um, people has to understand one the revolution. When you want to be a, a real revolutionary, you understand, like you want you want the freedom of people. When whenever you are ready to 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 to, to uh, um um to free your country from um from dictatorship, you know, um, you have to be ready, and that is what we are ready for. We are ready to free our country from self-perpetuating rule. This is what we are ready for. And as far as we are ready for this, you understand, and we will come out come 19th of December. That, that is the stand as of now. Now, do you bear the consequences of going out? What is the consequences there, Omar? What is, can you tell me? What, what, what is the consequences there? Yes. You, you have to understand what is no, you know, our right. It will, it, can you allow me? Yes. If the police did not, the police did not give you a permit. Yes. Are you going to pursue another? Are you going to apply another permit, or you're going ahead? Uh, I mean, what we did, um, what we did is this. Today we uh, we released a press uh, press release today to remind the IGP again, and then we are going to put. Uh, we still because look, this this is uh, an organization. We you know that we will follow the law. We will follow the law up to the last minute. You understand? We will do this because you know, Omar. Um, you have to understand here. Um, we have a fundraising. We organize a fundraising program here, and the police were there that night. And that place, with the number of people who got there were more than the police. So if you want to create trouble that day, we will do it. And we know that that is deliberate, deliberate, um, um, I mean, um, uh, deliberate violation of our right. This, that is deliberate violation of our right because there were people among us who know they organized program at that venue. So they were even our organizers. But we, uh, but what happened is we want peace to stay. This is why that day, with all the expenses we did, we have to agree. We have to agree. We have to come to town. To see that we, I mean, I mean, I mean, um, there is peace. This is why that day, with all the expenses, we have to stop our program and we stop it. But this time, because what happened? We, this is the government. They want to start it. And if we leave, if we leave them, oh, we have to understand one thing. I am appealing to the Gambian people. One lie. If we don't come out on the 19th of December, I am telling you, this Adamaro will be worse than Jambi because you will see that because because you, you've all seen it. Because he, he will think like, I mean, I mean, he is now, he is now strong, he is powerful, I mean, whatever he say is what's going to be here. So he will be start, he will start, you know, I, I, I mean, you know, I mean, I mean, he will start putting, I mean, I'm, I'm a lot of pressure. He will start, I mean, uh, violating the right of citizens every day. He will keep doing this. And this is what we don't want. And this is why we are appealing to the general public. Look, it's your right to come out. Section 25B of the Gambian Constitution says that Every citizen have right for freedom of movement, freedom of assembly, and this right is what we hold. We are not going to when we are not going there with any peer system. We will not have any mind, but we will go out. As far as the law says that it's our right to go out, we will go out come 19th of December. That is our stand as of now. But anyway, our our executive are still and, and they, we, we're making a couple of engagements. And, and as far as we also engage. Uh, already, we you know we have engagement with the uh, ECOWAS and UN and and civil society. You understand? We have engagement with them, and they um, they said that they will also do their level best to 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 to, to go um to, to go to the IGP. To engage, you understand? Yeah. To engage the, the government of whatever. So we we are still we as as of now we are because look this is uh, um, I mean this is a group we know that our record we never want our record to be to be dirty. This is why we will push it. We will keep sending letters. Up to last day of Friday, and if they don't give us later on Friday, we will do our final meeting, and we will call on the press on Saturday or Friday. We will call on the press to come, and we make our final uh, our final decision. But as the position we are as an executive, we are telling the IGP that up present three years, Jordan, our law-abiding citizen, and our record is clean. 
I would have thought it's killing because look, Omar, imagine in our protest, some people were stealing the mobile phone of people and they cut them. But the moment they cut them, what happened? The, the moment they cut them, is, they say, no, oh, be able to be mandara, be mandara, uh, I mean, in Sul Dipak, we are in the world, we are in continue. Because people, people, they are, it's like, you know, we have only one intention. You know, when you are in a group, you have only one intention. Not, nothing is going to be bad. So let IGP know that our intention, all the people who will come, they are, their intention is one thing that they want President Adam Baro to step down, they want him to respect his promise, and this is what we want. You know, and now, what is more important here, what's more funny here, Omar? We are citizens, even me or you, Omar, as an individual, we believe with due respect. With due respect, you have right. The Constitution says that, the same Constitution says that, it's your right to petition your government. So we petition our government, and our government didn't reply to us. So, this, so you see, I mean, the government, we can say that they respect the law, they, they respect the constitution. You are petitioned by you are petitioned by your citizens. The, your citizen petitions you. You 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 think they are they are useless. You you never want to give them any regard. You don't even at least because look, we are paying permanent secretary there. We are paying secretary general. You don't use those people. You don't give them command for them to write a reply letter to those people at least. And we because we in our petition we said we want to hear from you. On the 10th of January, and you didn't do it up to now. The president has not given us any written letter. Omar, this is disrespecting the citizens of this country. And we are not going to allow this, Omar. We will never allow anybody to disrespect us in our country. Here, the Congambia is owned by us Gambians. And it's, it will never be owned by any foreigner. And we are the Gambians, are the only people who can fight for our right. Nobody, nobody will come from, I mean, I mean, Zimbabwe or wherever, or Liberia or wherever, to come and fight for our right here. We have to fight for our right to the last minute. We, and we will do this, inshallah. The language, you sound angry. I'm not angry. Okay, let me finish. I'm, no, 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 Omar, let, no, 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 no. Don't change it. I, Omar, I, Omar, you, Omar, you know me. Omar, and you know how peaceful I am. I don't tell me I'm angry. You, you, but, Omar, okay. No, 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 no. Using that word, and I want you to withdraw that word, please. I'm not angry. Okay. If, if I'm angry, you must know it, Omar. Okay. You know me. I'm I, not angry. I, but that's the way I talk. I am withdrawing this. I'm withdrawing your... Please, withdraw that one. I'm not angry. Why should I be angry? Okay, wait. Am I fighting with somebody? I'm no. not debating with somebody. Okay. You are the one I'm speaking. Okay. I so you have to understand I'm not angry. I withdraw, please withdraw I that, withdraw word. that word. Yeah, Thank no you very word. much. But the language, the tone, yeah. uh, the tone uh, you are speaking, mm -hmm. many people may say you sound angry. Okay. And uh, listening to some of your people outside, yeah. Yeah, when you talk to some of the supporters, they said come 19th of January, if the president did not step down, they will burn this country into ashes. Those statements are belligerent. They no, I, oh, oh, my, oh, my, oh, my, oh, my. There is, uh, um, I will show you one thing. I, uh, no, 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 I will show you one thing here. Um, this morning, um, I just wake up. Here is somebody who is a very uh, um, close friend or a close person to the president. Okay. And, and, and he normally move with the, um, the Navy of the President, um, Senushital. Now, right. Senushital. No, you know, no, 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 no. Senushital, do you know um, what he wrote today? Uh, at, uh, um, what he wrote today in his uh, Facebook? I would I, like, I, no, no, I, no, I, no, no, no. And I'm saying, those people I, saying I, this one, they are not executive members of Opposition Trillia Journal, and their words doesn't stand uh, uh, by, uh, as an, as an, as no. a, uh, as a But now, li listen, can you please read this one for me? Now I don't. I, I will. No, 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 no. Read this one for no, me. I don't want to. No, no, you, you know, I am telling you. I am guided that. by people. Yeah, he, he, he is somebody. Is an he is somebody who said that the three years. Uh, he said the three years people, they are all rebels, and they should be treated as rebels. And being being a rebel, you deserve nothing in life than death or harmful punishment. Now, um, what will is be this a, not a threat? What will be your message? Now I'm just saying, is this not a threat? I would come to this thing. Is this not a I'll come to this. And so the people who are saying this, that um, I mean, who are saying all sorts of words, um, insulting, they don't represent us. They don't represent us. But they say speaking in the name of oppression. Uh, uh, speaking in the name of oppression, three Jotna doesn't mean you are an executive member of oppression, three Jotna. You understand? So I would say, I would say, because this man, they, okay, for example, this man is speaking. Uh, I, I would say, Sanusi is speaking on behalf of, of uh, um, I mean, oppression, Mante Tofola, oppression. I would not say their name. You understand? So this, this is what you need to understand here, Omar. Because those people, the word they are saying, you understand, it doesn't reflect on us. What I am telling you, me or me, Silver Song. All over, you will go. You'll follow my audios. You'll follow my interviews. I made a lot of media engagement, but I never use foul words. Nay, I always try to comport if myself. If you understand what I'm saying, executive members might not utter statements that might uh, 
instill fear in the security say they must say the police people go on. But people outside there. Don't you, 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 Omar, 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 you have to, let me show you, don't believe, you know, before our protest, there were people saying that before our system protest. There were people saying the same statements. You know, there were even people saying that we are going to burn tires, that was a publicity that we were going to burn tires, first week, second week, third week, but did that happen? This is why I'm saying that the IGP or the police does not have any ground to deny a person a judgment permit. Because we, if you go into our, our history, you know, Omar, even our town hall meeting, we apply for permit. Now, uh, even where we are not even using, we are not even using anything, even in a hall, if we have to do any agreement in a hall, we apply for a permit. Why do we do all these things? Because we want, you know, you know, if you are trying, if you are fighting for the right of people, you have to make, make sure you follow proceeding. And this is the proceeding we are following. We will follow all proceeding up to the last minute. Up to the last minute. We will make sure that, you know, the, the law of the land, we respect it. But I am telling you, a government, which is saying that, you understand, it respect the law of the land. We are saying that it's representing, is fighting for the right of foreigners, a foreign country. It's the same government who want to still suppress its own citizens. We are very, 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 very surprised and we are very, very disappointed. And I am urging, I am urging the entire Gambian people right. to understand, to know the real face of Baro, the real face of this government. We have all seen them. We have all seen that. Minister, if minister doesn't clap for the president, he is going to be sharp. A director of press, if he doesn't clap for the president, he is going to be sharp. I am telling you, a police officer, if he doesn't put on the t-shirt of the president, or, 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 or he doesn't I mean, see the t-shirt of the president, he is going to be sharp. Where are we? Where is security reform? What Where you, is civil what, service reform? What will be your message to the people there who will join this procession on with or without permit? Um, yes, my uh, my message to my people is this: uh, um, Inshallah, on the 19th of January, <laughs> with the stand we are as at now, um, with, with the stand we are as at now, um, Operation Three Years Journal, um, we hope to go out on the 16th, also on the um, 19th of January, and we uh, apply. We are appealing to everybody that Inshallah, um, if you are coming out, if you are coming, uh, if you are going out of your house, please make sure. Um, you respect the law of the land. If you live in your house, say Bismillah, Tawakaltu Allah, Wala Hawla, Wala Quwwata Illa Billah. Um, when you, you will go out peacefully from your house, Inshallah, and you'll go back peacefully from your house. On the system, we are on the system. We have set history um, to the world wall, and the world has the world has actually the world is really recommending us for that peacefulness. We want the same peacefulness to be in everyone. Come out in large numbers. Come out in groups, not in not not by one. You understand? Come out in group, and inshallah, uh, I mean, our word will stand, not the word of the police, because the police, we are, they are our police, we are the one paying them. They are our servant, so we should not be afraid with them if they don't want to follow the right proceeding. And I am appealing to the IGP again. IGP, Mahmoud, uh, Mahmoud, uh, Mahmoud Job, you have said it clearly with us when we have a meeting with you. You said that we are very responsible people. We are very respective. Uh, we are people who have respect for uh, um, for um, for the Gambian people. You said that because you you even said to our chairman that you know you, you really respect him for his stand in truth. You understand? You have said this. You know, so please, Mahmoud, don't change your stand now. Don't try to be a rat or whatever. Well, that <laughs> language. That language. Thank you very much. Sorry. That language unhealthy. Uh, unhealthy. Okay, I I will draw it. Okay. Uh, um, Mister, I will draw it uh, with due respect. Um, uh, interior General, in, Interior Minister, IGP, so, IGP. IGP yes. and Interior Minister, we still appealing to you guys again. Um, as citizens of this country, our our history is clean. Please, before Friday, give us our permit and please provide us security. We will do our process on Inshallah, come 19 of December, 19 of this January, and we will go home peacefully without no damage. Inshallah. Thank you so much for your time. Mr. Thank you very much, Omar, for inviting us. Well, viewers, that's uh, Mr. Sirifo Sonko there. He is an executive member of Three Years Judge Town. That's all we have for you today. From me and my team, we thank you so much. Till tomorrow. Bye for now.